Alright, here we go. This is uh, the rocket stove slash Dakota fire pit uh, cooking station I've been working on here. Don't know if you can see up in that hole there or not, but there's some red hot coals in there. And out the top just like a rocket I don't know if you can hear it but it does have a roar and it is some kind of hot and there's just very very little bit of wood in that thing typically to cook this is kind of ragged here but I'll show you that's a couple of tin cans something to hold that up there right now because I really hadn't finished a cooking grate or nothing on it but you would put something across there like it and that's it your pot, pan, griddle, you know, whatever you just want to cook. Ah, uh, pressure cooker full of beans, uh, whatever. I would not recommend putting <laughs> any kind of meat or hot dogs or anything like that on that little grill there. Simply because that, uh, I don't think you could get it on there and get it off fast enough to keep it from... Uh, burning and I don't mean just burning I mean charcoal and burn you can definitely hear the roar take this camera out of this tripod here a second And get a shot of oh. actual up inside the burn tube. You drop sticks and stuff down the top of it and get it started. I light it down here. But once you get a bed of coals in there, all you have to do is just uh, feed your wood that you're going to cook with. Oh, I don't know. Nah. We got a piece here or something. Maybe. Okay. Feed it from this end. You can put as big a stick as what you can put in there. Or a bunch of small ones or whatever. And it will just keep on. You can keep far going in it all day if you want to, just by, you know, coming out here and throwing a big stick in it or something every now and then. Now, got that camera back on the tripod. But that's it. I'm going to finish doing the cement work around the fire hole this morning. So it's not completely dry, but this heat will help <laughs> kind of cure that out a little bit. So just another addition to my outdoor cooking station. But it's pretty well just maintenance free once you get it built. And uh, I think I'm going to enjoy it. Hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to rate, share, subscribe, and comment. Laters.